Now then, may we welcome our next contestant, please? Will you come in? Have a seat, young ladies, over here. And over here. But I'm in a dilemma. You'll have to help yourselves in. I don't know which lady first. There we go. Now, first of all, may I ask you what your name is and where you're from? I'm Joyce Rice from Greenfield, Iowa. Joyce Rice, and she is from Iowa. And your name? I'm Claudette Riley from Knoxville, Tennessee. Claudette Riley, and she is from Tennessee. Now, young ladies, if you will whisper your secret to me, I hope people are waiting to hear what it is. Now, there's more. Let's do this again. I like it. To classify Joyce and Claudette's secret, it concerns something that they are going to do. And let's start with uh, Bess, please. Well, for such two pretty girls, I imagine they were most cooperative coming out dressed that way. It seems to me they must have something underneath those coats. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be most unusual. Uh, do they? Yeah. Something like a gym outfit? No? Well, I hesitate to call it that. Uh, a bathing suit? No. Could you two be cheerleaders, by the way? No. 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 Does it have something to do with athletics? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sneakers and so on. Are you going to do something right here on the stage? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. $20 down, $60 uh -huh. to go, and we go to Bill Cullen. Can I assume properly that you are both champions uh, in your own class in what you do? Uh, let me, an let me say, put, answer this. They both hold several championships in the particular class in which they now find themselves neither is champion. Uh, is, uh, um, would it help me to know what it is like? Is it gymnastics or any uh, form of gymnastics? Mm -hmm. No. I'd say no, wouldn't you? Uh, is some other... Is it a sport that a girl normally... Field hockey? Yo, you don't... No. Do you? No. Oh, it's sneakers. Huh? No, sneakers, that's no. right. Um, <laughs> I don't know much about... All right, sports. $40 down, <laughs> and we will risk the whole $40 because Henry's gone on Betsy's outcome. All right, well, Joyce and Claudette, are you going to compete for a championship, the two of you, tonight? Yes. yes. Between one another. Uh, do you do something on a trampoline, maybe? No. no. Uh, is it something to do that you will do actually physically with your bodies, and the whole work? Yes. yes. You like that, don't you? <laughs> yes. Uh, rope? Never yes. could climb a rope, no? All right, so we have blown the $80, and I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Joyce and Claudette are the finalists, the two finalists in the National Baton Twirling Contest. Mm -hmm. And they will compete for the finals of the Grand Championship right here on this stage in about one minute from now. Mm -hmm. well, if you go back and get ready, I'll explain more about this intricate sport, if you will. We'll see you under stress in just a moment. The National Baton Twirling Contest is under the auspices of the National Baton Twirling Association, which seems to make a certain <laughs> amount of sense. Now, more than 30,000 girls of all ages in the United States and Canada entered this contest. They competed in their local town, district, and state contests, and were narrowed down to 124 girls uh, who appeared at the St. Paul Winter Carnival last Sunday. Now, usually they pick the winner at the Winter Carnival. But we arranged with the contest officials to narrow it down to two girls and the final few points so that we could hold the grand championship on our stage tonight. Claudette and Joyce are the senior finalists and they're about to compete for the grand prize. Now let's meet the judges. Will you gentlemen come in, please? <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Now, this is Major John T. Uh, Totillis of Stamford, Connecticut, John Smetzler of Binghamton, New York, and Don Sartell of Janesville, Wisconsin. Are you ready, gentlemen, for the scoring? All right, panel, we're going to have to ask you to pull your, pull your thing back, your desk. The judges will help me, I think, to pull this. We don't, don't need but too much room. There we go. I want you to get a good look at it. All right, then, this is a very tense moment for both of these young ladies. They have labored long and hard, and their hearts are in what they're doing. Here is Miss Joyce Rice of Greenfield, Iowa.
And our second finalist, Miss Claudette Riley of Knoxville, Tennessee. Gentlemen, if you will tabulate your scores, I know it takes a little while, I would like to show you the prizes that are at stake tonight in this contest. All right, thanks, Jerry, very much. Now, as is usual for some reason or other, the first prize is always the larger of the prizes, and this is the first prize trophy. Now, along with it, the winner receives a college scholarship fund, plus a wealth of merchandise, much too long to mention, and she reigns as queen over all of the national festivals, pageants, and tournaments that will be held all over the country uh, throughout the year. In other words, she will from now on be traveling constantly. The runner-up receives this equally beautiful, in my opinion, trophy. And uh, also with this goes a college scholarship fund. So, young ladies, nervous as you are, and I don't blame you, would you come out, please? Nice job, both of you. Really a nice job. I do want to stress the fact that it started with 30,000 girls and is now down to these two, and unfortunately, you both understand that somebody's got to lose, you know? Well, and that's the way it goes. All right, judges, do you, uh, do you have the scores, please? Can you hand them to me? All right, without telling you who voted for who, the winner of the trophy, the scholarship, and all that goes with it, Joyce Rice. Joyce, there are you. <laughs> Joyce, this is for you, and to come in second out of 30,000 ain't no mean trick. You walk down stage, let me get between you here. Get between you, just walk down here. very proud of both of you, the way you've acted tonight in particular. Bill Cullen, you're going away for a vacation, my friend, for two uh, weeks. Yeah. We'll miss you. Have a good time. Come back and see us, right? Thank you, Gary. I'll be here. With right home, my friend. Right. And so until next week at the same time, then, this would be Gary Moore, surrounded by pulchritude. Be very kind to each other, will you? Goodbye out there. This is a Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. Miss Palmer's gone by Harvey Barrett. And this is John Cannon speaking. I would like it to be known that tonight's program was timed by me, and I use my own patented sundial. And that's why we happen to be one minute... Oh, well, you know how it goes. <laughs>